We managed to delay the Confederates and they stopped advancing for the night. Reinforcements arrived to defend Lafayette Road, but we must hold until all our forces arrive. Confederate forces are also becoming stronger over time. One of your division commanders has scouted the ground north of their right flank. Last night, troops searching for water spotted a lone brigade guarding Jay's Mill. We should trap it and destroy that. It's this isolated unit. So I think they're talking about this one. We should get um, all of the corps here today, or both corps, I should say. Let's uh, jump in and see how this is going to go. Elements of our army are advancing to investigate the right of the... I think we're going to find a lot of Confederates. I don't think it's going to be an isolated brigade. Lone enemy brigade was spotted near Jay's Mill, probably belonging to Forest Cavalry. We should destroy this small force before their reinforcements arrive. I suspect that might be a big force of stuff. We control Brotherton Road Junction. We can thwart a rebel advance in the north. General Bragg is expected to respond to our attack by sending reinforcements from Alexander's Bridge Road. Okay, so we've got the stuff on, right? So is this a... This looks like us going on to the offensive. What actually happened at the Battle of Chickamauga is... It was the second day, or was it even the... Th I don't know if that night bit counts as the first day of the battle. I'm not sure. Anyway, but what actually happened is the Union forces were lined up against the Confederate forces... And as an order was given to redeploy or move or support one of the Union divisions, and it was misinterpreted, and they moved out the line, leaving a massive gap. And they did it at exactly the time Longstreet's corps attacked that area. So it broke the Union line completely and caused a bit of a skedaddle. I think those Thomas's Union troops put up a hell of a rearguard defense and fought all the way back and basically stopped it becoming uh, a disaster. But um, it was just... I guess it was just unfortunate timing, I suppose you could say. I think this has put us over onto the offensive, looking at this. So let's see what we can get. Let's get some skirmishes out. And I guess we should probably start going through the woods down here. Let's get Grant over there. I'll start ordering the troops forward. Not quite sure where we're going to go with these. I suppose we should head. It suggested we should head for that, didn't it? As with our first, our first guy. Okay, let's let's do that then. Let's go straight through. I don't want to rush this, and then go straight into a big pile of crap down the other side. But we can get our skirmishers out, and we put these in the woods, and we're going to see what's there because I think we're going to run into a lot of very heavy resistance. But this is what skirmishes are for, so let's go Let's go find out what we've got. Let's move this on a bit. We could just send Grant down the road to see. Nothing beats a bit of first-hand experience at scouting the enemy. So we, we're probably best off not going through all these woods, because that's going to be slow. Uh, except for these two, uh, they've got a more direct line there, so by this point. More brigades arrive. Excellent. Yeah, I think we're going to run smack into a division down here. And we have. What have we seen? We've got enemy skirmishers. Right then, I'll put two divisions of skirmishers onto that. Two divisions. Two, uh, two units of skirmishers onto that. The Prince of Wales volunteers wants to get into the bloody woods before he runs into some trouble there. Let's send the artillery down there and let's send these guys through. But I'm fairly certain we're going to run smack bang into some serious resistance. I mean, we might not. I'm sending the, the cavalry to, to grab this if we can. Get in the woods. Oh, we've... we've did you see that? I saw that. What have we got there? We've got something sitting at the end of the woods here. Yeah, I thought so. Right, go and shoot them up. We're going to come straight down this road, though, as best we can. What have we got in the south? Well, there's nothing in the south, so I think we can probably hold this place. Fact. Let's let's go for on the double and prat these zwarves. We'll put them in the trees down here, and we'll put the artillery just slightly behind them. 
Right, we spotted all sorts of bad stuff over here. All sorts of bad stuff. Do I want to come running down that road? It's a long way to that place still. Nice. I think we've got those guys in, which is excellent. Let's go and check out the woods in front of us. The Prince of Wales can advance forwards. This is this is pretty cool. So we, we have an objective here. We could basically control this road. We will take that. Contested. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Right, someone turn and give them bastards a volley. Grant, come down the road, please. You're needed here. I mean, I could just run that division all the way down and see what's going on. That would be... That would be awesome. We've got skirmishes out. Let's, let's keep moving along. Let's take you off double... Sp I'm going to try this. I'm going to try going like this. Keep advancing. Keep the skirmishes coming. What have we hit at the back here? We've got two lots of skirmishes caught up, but that's okay. We're keeping them off the flank, so that's also okay. Let's keep going down here. I don't want to deploy a brigade there to that side. We've found the enemy. Okay, we have found the enemy this time. And they are in decent numbers down here. And we have artillery approaching down there. So I would say let's 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 take our victories and let's defend this bit. Because there's something coming. We might be able to grab this artillery battery if it's advancing all by itself. Now that being said, there's nothing to stop us putting skirmishes into the woods here. Right. You need to go like that and like that, and then we need to get across here. We need to we need to keep those are big units of skirmishes on those sides as well, so. Come on in. Come on in. We need to we need to get some volley fires off. Try and chase these guys off. What have we got coming at us? Are we seen? We're not seen there at the moment, so that's okay. Let's see if we can just knock out the enemy artillery. These are damaged brigades from yesterday, so that's good news for us. I think we can hold this. This doesn't look like a great position I'm in here, because I think they're half in the water there. But that's okay. We've got these guys... We've got these guys in a decent position to actually turf them out. Let's... That's, there's some trouble in the woods up ahead. Let's go see what we've got. And let's bring some skirmishes down and bring Grant over. We're just keeping the enemy skirmishes off our flanks at the moment. That's that's fine. Get back in the trees, fellas. We have more brigades turning up. It's cavalry. Okay, cavalry is always fun. Cavalry is always fun. Can we do can we do cavalry in the woods? I don't know if we can do cavalry in the woods very effectively. Let's bring these guys down. Oh, let's, let's bring the artillery first down. Can I bring that down there, please? And this is the Nisei Brigade. Okay, well, we found an enemy artillery battery. That's, that's cool. Okay, we've got enemies over there. We've got cavalry across there, which is not being too much of a problem for us. I'm going to just do a double quick onto this. And same over here. I'm going to, we're going to trap this guy and we're going to try and take this. We've got 40 minutes and I think we can do this one. We've got a very weakened brigade there. Good. That's going down. Turn to face that. And what we need is just to try and push on a little bit. Bring Grant in. And I think this is I think this can fall. Let's bring Leonidas' men down. How are we gonna how are we gonna utilize him? 
There's a lot of skirmishers pushing up there. <laughs> in the damn way. Nothing re is really giving us anything to seriously worry about over here. Let's get this... Oh, but that was bad timing to do that, wasn't it? That was exceptionally bad timing. Right, we're just going to move on to that flank, just to cover that flank. And then in this side brigade, I think we might put up over here. Leonidas's men have bounced off again. Bring them down. Bring them down. Come on. Keep them coming. Barge's men are almost outnumbering that. Fire dragons are holding a much greater number of skirmishes at bay. Let's get back into the woods, actually. We have found the enemies. I think I'm going to turn and shoot them. Right, into that farm, on the double. There, go, 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 go. We're going to take it. Because if, if we take these objectives, I think it's going to trigger a very different battle to what the actual uh, battle layout was like. I might be wrong, but we, we're going to go on this assumption. Okay, I don't think Leonidas's men are going to be able to do an awful lot from there. Uh, I will bring the skirmish, the uh, other artillery battery down, though. Maybe I could try going into the flank of that. Come on, I need, I need to control this one. This is... Um, if they get the volley off here, that should break. Yeah. Excellent. Forest's men running around causing trouble everywhere. Uh, let's put you on that flank if we can. There's something behind us. That's not good. Oh, God. Uh, it, well, it, we that got lucky, I think. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is actually go to the offensive over here. We've got one brigade, which we're going to have making sure that we are supporting this. And then let's bring some artillery along. And let's get into a fight. Nice, we've got this one. We should have just enough time to hold it as well. Uh, let's just make sure we're doing that. Right, come on. We've got the fire dragons in trouble here. Let's get you shooting out of there. We, oh, we have, oh, we've got reinforcements turned up. Right, this is suddenly a different battle, isn't it? Actually, I'm going to order you guys to go over there. And we do have artillery. It's not quite where I want it, but it's it's fine. We're driving off the enemy. I think we weakened them yesterday so well that these troops that are here are not in a particularly good state to do much about it. And I don't feel like we need to charge across that field to chase those guys out. This bit is ours, so let's make sure we're in good cover here. Dogmeat's men have done some very good work in this fight so far. Lake's Brigade. Yeah, we could do some reinforcements. Let's see if we can bring the cavalry in. Where are the enemy? Oh, I see. I see where we're going. Right. Let's. Um, I'm going to leave one brigade and B's battery here. Plus, they've got they've got other stuff helping so this, this is going to be fine uh let's bring we can turn there right okay things are things are developing here several brigades are threatening our position it's cheatham's division cheatham's division was one of the bigger ones i think so what we need to do very quickly is rapidly get into position here to hold this and also let's make sure we've got troops on this side and I'm going to bring up some artillery. We're sticking it right behind these guys. Uh, let's bring the Nisei Brigade up. In fact, let's bring all the artillery up. And the Prince of Wales on this side dismount. If that's Cheatham's division, that's going to be a big force. Oh, hang on. What's... Wait a minute. <laughs> when did this lot appear? Right, so let's get... I guess the first thing we do is occupy some of these and then we'll see where we go from there eh? if we're going to turn this position 
Let's make sure we've got some guns at the front and some of that. Um, I'll put them in the woods and we'll see what happens. Hold Kelly's Ford. Well, there's forest men and there's something going on over there. You get back in there. We've got enemy cavalry causing a real, a real problem for us. Um, I need to get some infantry through these woods and clean out all that pesky cavalry. And we can do that, so let's get uh, let's get a move on here. Stuff's moving. Yeah, let's bring Maximus's battery up. I think we're gonna we're gonna face some heavy fighting down here, and it's on this flank. It is right. Let's bring these guys in because there is no point sitting down there. There just isn't. Uh, let's get them straight in. Guns, everything. I will probably leave... Oh, sharpshooters. They'll definitely get those in. I'll probably leave something to hold this. Um, I think we'll leave some skirmishers from Don Shatton's brigade. Uh, just to be sure that we actually do hold on to this. And that we can see it. And there's nothing sneaky comes up and takes it off us. Because that's always the the biggest issue, I, I think. Right. We better have cavalry on the front there. We have quite a fight coming in here by the looks of this. Make sure you are deployed properly there. The Nisse Brigade is going to come... Actually, we can go into position and we can chase those off. We have artillery. We have our troops in front. We have a big old force causing problems down there. But we should otherwise be fine. Right then. Give them a lot of volley. I need to get this cavalry in somewhere where it's useful. Ah, aha. I've spotted where it's useful. Right. Pratley's Vars should be able to chase those guys off. Dogmeat's brigade is kind of stuck in a, in a bit of a sore place at the moment. Barge's brigade. What I need is skirmishers to go out there and chase off all that cavalry. Swedish guards. Charge. And what we also need is troops to come down here and secure the rear of our forces because this is not looking too good. Charge, ready, ready, ready. Charge. We should be able to hit the skirmishers and that should be a win for the cavalry. Oh God, I didn't see those bastards up there. That's, that's a problem. Okay, we're holding well here. We're holding well. Let's put some skirmishers on to the flank, if we may. And at this point, we should have the big stuff coming in to chase everything off. Let's make sure we've got sharpshooters down there. We're going to need artillery at the back of this. And let's, let's get... Okay, let's get two brigades here to actually take up position there. Uh, Dome Shatton's is a bit weaker, but that's okay. That's okay. Artillery coming at the back. Yeah, we've come the slow way. Well, we're holding them all, so this is this is not the battle I was expecting to fight today. Not like this. I'm going to just double team those guys. Where did Leonidas' cavalry? Okay, they got shot up. That's a shame. Durham Light Infantry. Let's put more skirmishes out here. Swedish Royal Guards are still chasing somebody off over there. Hold. <laughs> You've chased someone right across the flipping map. That's incredible. Into the woods. Into the woods. Don't go too far. Durham Lights will chase off the, the cavalry. Uh, Blake's Brigade. I'm going to rejoin them to wherever they came from uh, this is looking pretty strong though so what we can do is get them shooting up some skirmishes here right now this is where it's interesting we've got an Irish brigade Haggis brigade let's get into position Perry's men won't do an awful lot down there 
and Putnam's guards. I think we can, I'm going to roll them right through the middle. Johansson's brigade. We're taking some damage. Okay, we can get the Zwarves in here. Blake's brigade wants to go and shoot them guys up. Uh, on the double. Let's go. Let's just go on the double. Leonidas has kind of recovered. Now let's move here. I'm going to try and charge this artillery because I don't know what's behind it. Blake's men approaching to shoot these guys. Let's get... Um, let's get... Let's just double up on everything that we can here. Okay. The Prince of Wales volunteers have done a great job. I'm trying to... I'm going to withdraw them. This brigade's going to get in. Uh, the rebels may counterattack. Might they? With what? I mean, we haven't seen the big rebel forces. There's Long Street's core yet. The battle is heating up. D.H. Hill's core has been spotted marching north from this road. He'll probably attack our forces near Jay's Mill. I think we've got most of our troops on now. Our primary objective is to hold our camps along Lafayette Road. We have camps on Lee and Gordon Mills. Okay. And at Vineyard Field. Near Brotherton's Cabin. Yeah, we're holding them, but the enemy are nowhere near them. In Kelly's Field, if the rebels repulse us from any of these positions, we will have to withdraw from other roads, and Chattanooga shall be defenceless. Well, we better just be careful. But we have a pretty solid long line, and we, we're holding everything. And I think we can cause some mayhem there. This looks pretty... This looks pretty solid. This looks... Um, this looks at ease, doesn't it? It doesn't look like it's a problem. However, this is a different story. And if we're about to get hit from all over the place, we need to get stuff in position. Oh, we need to rush someone to that. We've got the Lancashire Fusiliers. I'm going to do that and order them at the double. Is that an artillery? It's not an artillery position. That would have been awesome. We've got Ben's battery down here, but I don't know if they're needed down here. I think we should probably put two brigades in this. Um, it does say we can put two lots in there. I think they'll get turned and flanked, but let's try it. Let's try it. We've got the Frisian volunteers. The only other place that's going to get attacked over here. It could be anywhere from around this, though, couldn't it? So, um, I mean, I can put positions, troops into these positions, but I don't think they're good defensive positions. What would be a good defensive position? I mean, that looks all right. I don't have enough men to hold these things. I, I feel like there's going to be a massive attack comes through here. Possibly breaking this bit here, which could be something that we should be concerned about. I'm tempted to put the brigades into line like this, facing like that. That's, that's my temptation. And we'll have these just on the other side of this river, I think. If anything does come through, we should be able to spot them, do something about them. Uh, it's, I don't know. I don't know about this. These, I think, will be flanked. And we'll lose them. Let's see what happens. That's all we can do. We can just wait and see how it develops, really. Give them a volley. Uh, you go up there and help out. Meanwhile, surgical strike with the cavalry. Can we do this? We've got to go now if we're going. I want to watch this one go in. We've got a pretty solid line across here, so this, this looks all okay. I'll just move the Excelsius forward. And I think the same over here. We've got two brigades. We may as well come up and encounter them and beat them. This is, this is great. So this is all looking good. Blake's brigade needs ammunition. And we spotted the first enemies. Okay, no, we haven't. They're just routing. They're just nicely... No, we have. We have spotted something. Skirmishers. Okay. 
the Irish Brigade onto this flank. And, uh, well, we've got skirmishes, so that's okay. Okay, we need to, we need to move. <laughs> Shit. I thought this might be the problem. Do I have any troops over there? I've got a whole lot of stuff down here, which might need, which might be completely redundant. So what I would do is we're going to put one battery in there. And we're going to march these guys north like this. We're going to come up. Let's get them up here. Where they're going to be needed. We've got troops over here as well. Excellent. Let's bring them in. Thank you. And some sharpshooters. And some cavalry. Let's get them where they're needed. I mean, this might be a massive mistake. I'll leave someone near there. I'm leaving two big brigades down here, which might turn out to be completely unnecessary. Let's just put some skirmishes onto a flank as well. Bear box men, just in case you never know. Everything's moving. Tolls brigade's not moving. Let's get them up there. So this is where we do have a hole, and I wonder if this is this was supposed to be. Um, on purpose, the battle has actually created the whole forest that the, the Union troops made when they pulled out of the line. It's quite possible. It is quite possible. Uh, we have skirmishes. We can put those over. We've got the Prince of Wales Dragoon. So this is good. This is this is okay. Let's make sure we advance and can actually get into combat with these guys. I want to try and push all this stuff off if we can. It's amazing how many of these bastards are holding on. We've got the cavalry in. Leonidas did a great job over there. Excellent. Let's go and get the next one. He also looks like he broke an entire enemy brigade, which is great news. I don't think these have got anything backing them up, so we're going in over here. Meanwhile, in the north, we should be having quite a severe shootout with enemy cavalry and stuff. Right, let's make sure we get involved in this. Actually, that, this, this should be fine. I feel like we can probably put a brigade down there. What's this? Artillery? We definitely want the artillery down here. Leonidas is chopping up those. That's excellent. So over here, I think we've repelled the initial invasion, which is great. Uh, let me put skirmishers over there. And same with the Prince of Wales, defending that bit. So our artillery got a little bit close, and our sharpshooters aren't really doing what I want them to do. But that's fine. That's fine. Let's 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 redeploy like this, and uh, let's bring in some some more cannons. We've got a lot of cannons just here. Well, having said that, I should probably have left some guys over here because enemies. You are fully in there, right? Where's Dogmeat's men going? Looks like something's on its way over here. I'm going to get across there. I don't think there's any more... Well, I say that I don't think there's any more risk. Let's put some skirmishers guarding that bridge, because you just don't know. And I'm going to try... I think I'm going to bring Leonidas down here. He's done a lot of good work up there. Hmm, we've chased the cavalry off for now. One thing that, oh, one thing we might need to worry about, this, this might be a, a very genuine concern as well, is that we have uh, troops holding these. Um, I should, actually, I think I'll probably put something a bit closer in there. The reason being is that the enemy are very good at sending stuff to, um, to pinch these areas, so... I don't see any problems at the moment. I don't want there to be any. Yeah, we found something. Okay, we've definitely found something. Bring the Prince of Wales Dragoons down to help out with that. The Washington's Rangers, we should definitely go. We'll get the cavalry up there where it can be of some assistance. I don't know if anything is going to come crashing through this area. 
Frisian volunteers. Let's get them up the road. Um, I would say let's let's hold a line like that. And the Yorkshires, are we? Is it worth bringing? I think it is worth bringing something up here because I'm just concerned. I'm just a little concerned that we might lose these. Especially with this enemy cavalry kind of milling about up here. It is a problem. I've got three brigades dedicated to chasing those off. I think that might be a bit of overkill. Right, have we tidied this area up? I think we've tidied this area up quite nicely. Let's get Blake's brigade in. And Barge's brigade. Barge's skirmishes can come down here. I mean, we're... Yeah, we're, we're, we're looking good. I think we're looking good at this so far. What I need to do is to maybe... Okay, that's, that's a heavier attack coming in. And what we need... Right, those guys are definitely... Definitely taken up there. I think... We take these... And we advance through the woods like this. Let's go through the woods. We've, we've seen the enemy. Okay, the Prince of Wales are coming on. Skirmishes are hitting them again. That's okay. We have a big group of guys here. Let's move them up like that. Leaving something, of course, to... Uh, obviously, to occupy these areas, just to be safe. The sharpshooters need to start getting in. The Yorkshires are going up there. I'm leaving... Am I leaving some artillery behind? I feel like the heaviest attack is coming through here. And it's where I've got the fewest troops at the moment. It's alright. We're doing, we're doing really good. Or at least I feel like we're doing really good. Durham Light Infantry. Should I leave the Durhams to, to clean out these woodlands? Chase the enemy cavalry off. Grant, bring your men further south. Dogmeat's men. Dogmeat's men have been very heavily engaged. Let's... That's enemies. Enemies running. That's okay. <laughs> we don't mind that. Okay, let's get Barge's troops around here. And your skirmishes around. Oh, we've got... Oh, we've got artillery down here. We've got an attack coming in. And we've got ammunition problems. Can we get the uh, ammo truck over there? We've probably got a spare ammo truck down here, have we, that's really not needed. I feel like these guys down here are not needed at all. But it's that question, if, if we go in, if we leave everything, and it turns out they were very much needed after all, I'll advance. I will advance. We've got more ammunition there. Good, let's send it up there where it's needed. Did we get... We did, we've got the cavalry up here. This is perfect. So we'll dismount them. And we'll just hold the camp. And at least it will give us vision on this area. Right, shoot those. Shoot those. I will send the fire dragons over. I'm happy to murder this cavalry. I feel like we've got them in re a really good position. Where they are kind of cut up all over the place. Damn, we've got a brigade down there. I was, I was hoping... Oh, oh, hello. What's going on here? The Excelsiors have pulled back. This, this is where the fighting needs to be won, I think. Right, you guys. I'm going to bring the artillery up like this. This, this is where it's hot. I think we're doing well. I think we can probably put Dogmeat's Brigade into the line there and get them shooting out. We are breaking stuff. This is definitely where I'm weakest. Right, bring the Yorkshires up the back of here. Yeah, that's where we want them. Now, at this point, we absolutely need to advance here. 
skirmishers, skirmishers, chase them off. The artillery's moving on. Uh, let's get Dome Shatton's brigade, Dome Shutton's brigade. I think I'm probably mispronouncing that. I apologise if I am. It's been a while. What can we got? Fire dragons against those. Durham light infantry against those. Swedish Royal Guard can come in. Can we get the skirmishers in there as well? I'd like to get some more volleys on. We've got some... Oh, it's enemy skirmishers penetrating this deep. Oh, aren't they a nuisance? Right, Frangus' battery. It is time to... Oh, we've spotted enemy infantry in the woods. Well, that should come as no great surprise to any of us. But well, let's, let's do that. Uh, it looks like our sharpshooters wandered into a, a storm of death there. The question is, do we have anything else in front of us? Let me go find out. There's rebel camps down there. I saw the tents. Uh, this is probably what we should have done initially. Of course, had skirmishes going out in front. Would have made a lot more sense. Uh... I don't know what's going on here. We're chasing off those. Those skirmishes should break fairly quick. Keep going after the cavalry. Keep moving. What's this over here? Barge's skirmishers. They've they've kind of decided to redeploy. Uh, you can actually return where you came from. I don't think. Just move these guys forward. Bradley Swarbs, they've, they've inflicted a lot of casualties, but they've taken a lot as well. The guys on this side are doing really good. Perry's men are now involved, which is good. We need to get this broken here. Advance. Advance. Okay. With that lot in the process of breaking badly, let's turn the Irish Brigade around and shoot those in the flank over there, and that should be secured. See what I mean about it being a confusing fight? The woods make all the difference, because you can't see. You just can't see what's coming at you. Okay, brilliant. Let's get those. Let's get those supplies charged down. It looks like my guys are just not in the place where I need them to be. Sadly. Uh, you can engage that because we've got lots of reinforcements coming in here. Let's get around the back of there and cause some mayhem. Yeah, this, this right here. Look, this. This is what I was thinking we might have some issues with. Pesky enemy cavalry trying to do stuff like this. Cascade cannons. You guys really need to be involved. But I don't know if I can get them involved. This is the, this is the thing. In 18 minutes? No way. No way. Let's make sure... Let's make sure this is being held anyway. Uh, actually, we'll go and put them in that one. The Centre Krakens. The fighting is just absolutely so intense here. Right, it's time to bring troops down onto this flank, like, really close. We've got to get them in. Leonidas doesn't have much of an opportunity to charge in there. Let's hit that cavalry. Yeah, we can we can do some good hurts there. All right, I think what I can do is I'm going to send the fire dragons back down this road, and probably even the Durham Light Infantry because everything seems to have dispersed up there. The cavalry is still there, but it's it's fleeing so. We've got guys holding this, which I'm... Okay, we can actually put them into defensive positions. That's good. It might not be as defensive, but it, they're more likely to withhold from a charge and not just run away. So, that's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blake's Brigade. I've got a job for you guys right there. Leonidas, I've got a job for you right here. Let's take these skirmishes out before we lose some supplies. We can't afford to lose no supplies. Oh, we, we can turn our skirmishes onto that. 
Is there anything worth taking over here? I don't think there is. I'm going to go and occupy that and see what we can see. We need these guys further in. We're fighting through very heavily wooded ground. We must secure Lafayette Road at all costs. Have we not already done that? The last brigade of Longstreet's corps should arrive late tonight so the Confederates are not yet at full strength. If we break their forces holding their right flank, we can win the battle today. Secure Jay's Mill. Well, we may as well do it. There's no advantage to us to killing more of them because they regenerate. Our armies don't, basically. Brotherton Road, but prioritize the defense of Lafayette Road. So if Longstreet's army isn't even in the field yet, then uh, that means we that wasn't the gap and the attack that uh, we've faced at all. So I, I still need... Oh, what? How? How? That's confusing. Okay, and that's also a problem. Because that is something that can actually break through there. So what have, what have we got? Right then, we're going to redeploy three brigades all the way up here. I'm tempted to put them at the double, actually, but we'll we'll have to see. Um, this is being held, right? So th this is good. This is good. We have a whole lot of artillery. What we need to do is get some some eyes on that lot and get him get him facing in the right direction. I'm beginning to think that this is a complete utter waste down here. So let's let's bring these guys up and at least come to hold this. Give these a volley. Nope, they've instantly turned round. They know. They know that we're targeting them. They know. I could probably get them with the cavalry there. I mean, this looks like a killing ground for the Rebs, doesn't it? It looks terrible. We have got them surrounded. But we are taking... We are taking substantial casualties in some of these places. Right, I don't think we need to worry about this anymore, so get over onto this side. Because this looks like it's been well and truly tidied up down here. Oh, we're marching straight into the enemy there. Interesting tactical manoeuvre. Let's advance and let's go at the double this time. We've got some sharpshooters, which we can't really get into combat very well. It's a tricky, very tricky situation to deal with this. How are we going to deal with that? That's that's what I'm really sort of kind of worried about. Cavalry on the flanks. Artillery smashing them from behind. Slowly, but doing something. And we do have we do have reinforcements coming. Is that two lots we've seen up here? Okay, so they've got cavalry in there as well. Come on, we've got to get the Prince of Wales around here like this. What have we spotted up there? Horsemen! Oh, and skirmishers! Right, the horsemen are destroyed. Leonidas, I've got to be careful with these because these, these could break. Charge in. I don't know why they're not shooting back, but that should be the end of those skirmishers. I confidently predict that, that will be the end of those skirmishers. He says. Come on then, move Blake's men forward. We've got two strong brigades over here still. This is good. The Yorkshire volunteers have arrived. Perfect. Where am I going to put them? Uh, I'm going to put them in here and replace the Nissau brigade because that that those guys are beaten up. Putnam's guards are looking pretty strong, actually. We can move them forward. This is... These guys are breaking. This is good. This is good. Oh, these are some of Longstreet's troops. Bennings, Robertsons, uh, Sheffield and Deers I haven't heard of. They may have replaced some of the injured brigade commanders at Gettysburg there, so I'm not familiar with the brigade names at this stage. Yeah, I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna hold this. 
I think we're going to be okay. Let's get Grant on the front line. We've got quite the firepower coming from over there. These guys, these are just cavalry milling about. What happened to the brigade around here? It looks like it's fled. Which is good. Which is good. So I wonder if we should just... Um, uh, I think I'm getting just uh, distracted with too many. Sean's brigade. These guys have had a long way to march. Let's bring them up here where they're definitely going to be useful. Right, solstice shooters, in they go. Actually, we can get the Frisian volunteers in there as well. We've got a break. We can get past. What's down here? We've got skirmishers. I don't think there's anything to see down there. How do we get over there? Okay, I thought that was the answer. Right, Bardi's men slowly shooting back. They are probably going to break at some point. Let's refill. Let's put them back into the ranks where they're safe. Such a shooting match here. They're falling back because of ammo. Well, not necessarily because of ammo, but they, they don't have a lot of ammo. The artillery must have been doing some good work, right? Or oh, some. Okay, Irish Brigade, we've got a job for you here. And putting them to guard, we've got a job for you as well. We're going to go and smash some artillery up. You might, might as well be shooting across there. Or we're going to charge them in the middle of that stream. Celtic Brigade, these guys can only shoot at one at a time. Come on, we need to get forwards here. Uh, charge. They've given them a volley. The idea now is to... Oh, God, there's a... There's Robertson's men there. Let's get some flanking fire in. We're going to chase all this stuff off. And we're going to give them... Do I give... No. Yeah, we're going to give them the bayonet. I, I wanted to. I didn't want them to suddenly target these guys instead, which I was a little bit concerned that they might. Shoot those pesky artillery men over there. I need to get in here. I need to. I need to cause some major mayhem. Be a good name for an officer, wouldn't it? Major mayhem. Okay, so we've seen something over here. We need Leonidas, who's quite effective at charging down skirmishes. Durham Light Infantry, you can return. Oh, these guys, oh, you need to come down here. And the Swedish Royal Guard, is there a, yeah, okay, you can come and just occupy that way it's, so it's safe. I think we've given the Rebs a good kick in today. We have more troops than are needed here. I'm, I think I'll bring the artillery over. Yeah, through the woods, I know. It's not great. Advance. On the double now. Okay, so this is this is great news. So we are going through. We just need to engage with everything here. And you sharpshooters need to get round the back. You guys need to go over there as well. So I think it looks like we've, we've charged into the river here which is scrappy and messy, but uh, it is what it is. The Irish Brigade's on the retreat. We've driven the artillery off, so that's, that's, I consider that a success. The Yorkshire Regiment needs to run up here now and get in. And then we do need to bring the artillery up a little bit. Such a devastating combat over here. It's, it's just so bad. But things are moving, so that's also good. Bargy's men are taking such a beating. Okay, Rouge Brigade, let's get on this side over here. And I wouldn't mind you guys just falling back. 
to let them guys come on. Dog meets men, you do need to be in the woods now. I have reinforcements coming from over there. Are we? I think we're engaged in a charge there, and we should be winning it, so that's okay. But Leonidas' uh, brigade is down to half strength. Um, so I have to be careful that they don't just instantly break. They'll be getting good experience from this, but uh, they're going to be brittle, so we've got to be very careful. Right, all of you three. Shoot that. You shoot that. You three brigades. Forwards. Just forwards. Come on. Shoot everything we can. The Yorkshires have turned up and are pouring a devastating fire into these guys' flanks. We've got some seriously weakened brigades in this corps, though. Uh, they've taken some horrific casualties. Let's bring this brigade down here. That's not that's not doing anything. So, And then we've got some reinforcements to come up. Bargy's men. I think they're going to fall back at this point. And we're going to bring in the Durham Light Infantry into that spot there on the double. And we should be able to overpower these. Such casualties. Such loss. What can men do against such reckless hate? Excellent. Keep chasing them guys down. I don't know if we can catch them up, but what we can do is deploy skirmishes. Well, we found all the enemy supplies, which would be nice to capture. We've got enemies over there. High Goods Brigade. Can I bring in some ammunition for those brigades, please? See if I can bring them in there. Just a flipping carnage in the woods. Absolute carnage. But the enemy are breaking, so... Bit by bit, they are going down. I do predict that this is going to start moving swiftly. Are you taking fire from flipping artillery that you can't see? It does look that way, doesn't it? These, I tell you what, let's get into the woods where we're safe. We'll try and capture some supplies if we can. Uh, we, we sent you guys down there, didn't we? Can we get around here? Now this is where I need some fast-moving cavalry. Right, Leonidas did a great job. Uh, you are going to be retired, so we're gonna, just going to put you in the pastures down here. Putting them out to pasture for the rest of the battle. Right, nice. Sharpshooters on there. We're outflanking this position now, so this is this is going considerably better. Or it should be. Let's see if we can just always shoot into the flank of things. I need to get in amongst that lot. Because there are some serious um, points to be gained from taking those. Nice. Can you guys shoot those? We've got more of them breaking. I mean, the enemy are like almost fighting to the flipping death. It's incredible. To the very last. Luckily, we've got the new units in here. At the nick of bloody time as well. This, this is grim. Oh, God. Those guys routed, rallied, and charged the things in front of them, so Putnam's guards are in a, in a rough state over there. Charge in. Charge across that river. Charge. Charge. Everybody charge now. Do we have any leaders? I don't think we have any leaders over here, do we? At this point, we can definitely get the artillery in nice and close. And we should cause some absolute mayhem. These casualties. 
just they are shocking bring in the Irish Brigade we're not in any good cover over there but at the moment we're in a situation where we should be able to do some serious hurt excellent we're charging down the artillery there it's great Putnam's guards have rallied of a sort still got pesky bloody artillery here Hey, the Yorkshires have gone. Oh, sorry, the Yorkshires have chased everyone off. We have a big brigade coming in over there. Irish brigade in on that flank. Who have we got here? Haggard's brigade. Come on, it is time to chase away the enemy artillery. They are doing murder on us. Yeah, I think we've got this. Five minutes. There's going to be nothing left tomorrow to fight. I don't think there's going to be a another day of battle here and at this point I mean there's going to be some some real battle on us for some of you guys some of you guys couldn't get involved sadly just because of the, the nature of the battlefield as brutal as it is uh, let's see can we get anyone else in here I mean we've got to get the Yorkshires in Sean's brigade come on we've got another brigade approaching over there Oh, it's done. It's done. So that was absolutely brutal. Let's have a look. So Johansson's brigade came top with three and a half thousand kills to 900 losses over three to one. I mean, we got them stuck in. We really got them stuck in. Minty's cavalry did some good work as well on the first day. Have we lost anyone? We've lost, uh, we've lost a brigadier general. He's dead. That's that's a shame. But we've had lots of promotions. We've had some promoted to three stars, which is good. We'll put them in in core command most likely. We've had a lot of wounded. Okay, there's going to be a lot of people to uh, to find replacements for here. Uh, but that was, I think, probably also typical of the real battle. It was kind of brutal. So, we've rescued some of those expensive Spencers. Brilliant. So, we'll try and equip a cavalry brigade with those. That'll be awesome. Uh, we've got some Tyler Texas rifles. They're nothing special, but we captured a lot of them. So, they're, they're useful. They can be useful. We've got a lot of Mississippi rifles, which I think are similar. Or maybe not as good. Not as good. Uh, what else have we got? Anything good? Uh, hunters. Hmm. What were the actual losses, actually? I didn't look at the losses. They're down here. Here we go. So we did outnumber them. We took 14,000 casualties to their 39,000. Oh, that is, that is insane. We, we did inflict more casualties on their cavalry than we took on ours. And a lot more on their artillery. I would like to see more captured artillery, but that's the way it goes. But uh, I knew that was going to be brutal. I think the real casualties for this battle were something like about 23,000 per side over the two, two or three days of fighting. I think, if I remember, I might be, I might be out with that. It was a Confederate victory historically. The North went skedaddling back to Chattanooga and then were besieged there uh, in some disarray. Um, not all the troops had, had, had fled, it was because there was a, a gap appeared in the line that the Confederates were able to exploit at just the right time. Okay, so if we're going to our career points, I think we're spending this on logistics for ammunition. There's nothing much else. Reconnaissance, I don't feel, is worth it for practical use. And then we've got, we've got enough men to replace the losses, that's good. Can we do it with the experience? That is the question. So, uh, back to about 2,000 for... Oh, I don't think we're going to get... We'll just reinforce as much as we can. We need to get these guys in a position where they're just shooting to someone's flank and not uh, actually taking any casualties. Uh, Jedi's Brigade did see some action. The Ohio Outlaws did. There's a lot of... I, I want to see what's happened with the... There's going to be some dangerous ones down here. So Woods Brigade, this is good. What are you armed with? Ten pounder ordnance. We will give you. Uh, this gives. This reduces reloading time and increases the firearms. 
This gives them rotation speed and cover and stealth. Stealth is useful. I don't usually get my artillery into position where they can be tagged and attacked too easily. So I, rotation speed is nice, but I, I think we would probably just take good old reloading time. For when the enemy comes charging at you, it's re reloading time that you really need. Bear box guys are fine. The St. McCracken's got a little bit of action in. I think, did they? Or did I leave them guarding? I might have left them guarding one of the farms. A very important and noble job, though. Tall's Brigade, you were definitely involved. And Bull's Brigade. Can we... Not quite, not quite. We won't get that point. It's near enough. It's fine. Ben's Battery, they're okay. Uh, Wood's Battery. Do we actually have... What do we have in the way of new 20 pounder of parrots? We've got 10 pound of parrots. Not what I'm after. I have... We could do this. We could put 20 pound of parrots in there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. No, we can't. Oh, I need 24. I haven't quite got enough balls to that. Right, okay. For 10 points, I've got enough now. Haha, -ha, we'll do that. So we're going to have bigger guns cause, just because we can. Uh, I should maybe space them out a little bit and somewhere else, but screw it. There we go. Big guns. Just what we want. Where do we get to? We got through all of this. The Yorkshires, they got nicely involved in that. Got some good fighting going on. Alex's Royal Guard. Did we even see Alex's Royal Guard in there? I think they... I wonder if they were assigned to, to that um, bridge in the south. The Lancashires. They must have had some fighting. Because otherwise I would have had them at 2,000, I think. Okay, Washington's Rangers. Now we know that you guys fought and fought well. I think you were at... Um, yeah, you weren't at full strength before, were you? Because... Numbers and experience, but that's okay. Cascade cannons, they're looking good. Thompson sharpshooters, we can afford to replace that, so that's okay. Uh, let's have a look. Sean's brigade. Well, we can get them up to 2,000, but um, we want them. We want them at that second star. The solstice shooters, nice. Congratulations, guys. You have your second badge. We're going to go with the accuracy. Make every shot count. Cummings battery didn't get involved. It's a shame because they've got big guns. Scrivener's using the ordinances. Okay. We have a nice selection of stuff there. Also, it looks like Mark got his third star. Nice. What should we give him? We've got command radius increased and morale resistance improves. Sp uh, speed plus 10 percent is that is, is that just in the active aura i think it is and this is cover plus 10 oh that's a that's a constant cover for everyone oh that's actually pretty good speed is nice but then you don't tend if it isn't just in the aura the active area of that aura then you don't tend to keep your commander moving at the same rate as your units are moving so i don't know that's that useful I'm going to go for the cover one, though. 10 cover? That's pretty good. Looks like Grant... Did we get everything done here? We did. It looks like... Second Corps took the brunt of that fighting without any doubt. Look at this. This is absolutely brutal. Uh, let's give him the cover one as well, because I like the sound of this one. Well done, Mr. Grant. Yeah, you, you, can, you could tell. I mean, that was... They were only lightly engaged. Uh, but it was these guys. Look at all the officer casualties. Oh boy, this this is going to be a problem. I mean, we have major generals we can put straight in there. That's that's actually maybe the thing to do. We can't buy any, can we? We can buy colonels. But I would say these guys have earned... Any division commanders? No, divisions are okay. Oh my god, this is... Well, until the rest of those guys recover. Flipping heck. Look at this. This was brutal. Absolutely brutal. I'm not surprised. I mean, the, the amount of casualties these guys took. I'm absolutely not surprised. We shall buy some new ones. 
Can we recruit any... No, I thought there might be some new officers to recruit, but sadly not. Shame. We'll keep our colonels in reserve and we'll buy new ones from the academy. Because we might not be able to get... Uh, we might need a lot of replacements later on, so... Then there's nothing... Third and Fourth Corps weren't involved at all, were they? No, okay. We have some repairs to do here. Dog Meats Brigade. Can we keep you at two stars? No, okay. I've, I've taken too many. We'll try and do this. Blake's Brigade. We might be able to keep you at two stars. Yeah, that's cool. Sir, yes, sir. Barge's Brigade. Oh my god, there's no way. I think we might have to drop... We might have to drop a star here. Fire Dragoons are looking good though. You must have leveled up. Well done. Fire dragons, I beg your pardon. Uh, let's go with the assault core stuff. No, let's go with that. The marksman training. I like the marksman training. And the Prince of Wales Dragoons, can we keep you? Well, we'll keep you at that. I would like to give them some better weapons than this though. Oh, we have enough Spencers. We can, we can give them the Spencers. That would work nicely. So we can give them reconnaissance, which is quite useful. Firearms, accuracy, and stamina. They are that's they're not melee cavalry. Okay, let's let's do that. That's what your job is. Can we give you the really, really nice Spencer Carbine? Okay, so we've got Spencer repeating rifles. It's Spencer Carbines, and we, we can't do it anyway, so. I can give them some burn sides. What's the range? 275 range, damage 13, accuracy 50, and they're currently equipped with... Uh, where are they? Oh, these up here. 1859 sharps. Um, more damage, more range, slightly less accuracy. I don't know. It seems like a... I'm going to do it. We have to buy a few. I think these guys have earned it. I think they've done well. So, the Excelsior Brigade, you were, you were hard-pressed in the middle of that lot as well, weren't you? Um, I think we're either going to have to resolve to buying sir, veterans... Yes, oh, God. There's no way. Uh, I've got to get them up, so... That's... Yeah, we've got to refill the ranks, unfortunately. I apologise, guys, but we're going to have to... I can't have things that weak. You need, uh, need replacements. I, if I can get to like, oh, I can't even get to 1400 there. Um, I think second core needs a rest. Second core needs to be in a position where I'm going to have to put that back up. I just, we've just got too many, too many weak brigades. And this is going to be a problem right here because we can't, we can't quite fill them up, can we? Uh... That'll have to do. We've got weakened but veteran brigades. I mean, we can. I can. I can buy veterans with the money, and if we get towards the last few battles in the game, I we might just have to do that because we just need to fill the ranks up, and it's how the game works. And the last few battles of the game will be tough. They will be very, very tough. But I'm trying not to. And uh, but we saw how brutal some of the fighting has been in these. Can I keep you? I think I can definitely keep you. That's okay. The thing is, if we can have good engagements without taking an awful yes, lot of casualties and we get the advantage, we can do it without having to use this mechanic. So um, we shall see if we can do this. Swedish Royal Guards. Yeah, we're getting to 1,600 men. That's okay. We'll replace yours. And yours. Yes, sir. And the sharpshooters. Luckily, we can afford to replace those. Putnam's Guards. Okay, so you were never at two stars, so that's not a problem. And good quality one-star brigades are still very good quality one-star brigades. You know, it's not like um, these these aren't good enough troops. And if we use them properly by getting in on flanks and stuff like that, sir, we yes, don't sir. really have anything to worry about. So, there we go. Near enough. Standard. Oh, is he, he's maybe one of the new colonels we just put in. Wheeler's men, top those up. And the big 24 pounders. I didn't see, I didn't see what damage they did. That would have been awesome to have checked out, wouldn't it? So we do have 
a, a reserve of men. I don't know if we've got anything in the way of really cool weapons. I mean, we've got lots of lots of weapons that we can generate lots of money from selling old stuff off if we want. I'm looking actually for these 1861s. Okay, we can, oh, okay, we, we can, this is brilliant. So let's go into first core and let's get these Springfield 1861s bought. Because these are top quality weapons. First core is going to take on the next fight. Because um, they were much less blooded. Unless I feel like it's something very safe, but we shall see. So we'll pick those. Yes, Bulls Brigade. Yeah, I'm gonna, just going to change some of these over. I might mix them up a bit so we've got some in second core, actually. And then all the casualties aren't all focused in one place. Nisse Brigade, okay. Because you got stiffed with the new recruits, I'm going to upgrade your weapons to the beautiful Springfield 1861 rifle. There you go. Who else got stiffed? The Zouaves got stiffed. Let's, let's give you something nice to make up for that. I mean, we can't afford, like, Henry rifles or Spencer rifles. Oh, I could actually put some skirmishes in with those, couldn't I? The range isn't good, but the fire rate is. Those repeating rifles. Good if we get on the flank or something. Uh, that's something I can consider. I don't know if we'll ever have enough to equip a brigade with them. That'd be amazing. And the Henry rifles, they're super... Oh, they're not long range. I thought they were. Oh, that's the repeating one, the 44 repeating rifle. You, you can do it. You can use, like, um, you've seen the enemy do it. Little assassination mobs of small skirmishes armed with good quality stuff. So it's possible. Oh, we've also got Springfield 1863s now. Very nice. Okay, let's, um, let's hand some of those out. But the 61s. Oh, I can't afford to anymore. Oh, crap. Okay. So what we... Oh, well, what I can do is we have loads of rifles. So let's sell off. Uh, let's cancel that. Let's go to the armory. In fact, let's have a look at the artillery. 12 pounder howitzers. We're not going to use those. So sell them. Uh, we could use any of these, but I can't see us getting that many into action. Let's have a look at the cavalry weapons. I've got loads of sharps, so if we're going to use anything, we're probably going to use them. And loads of smiths, which are probably even better. So the sawn-offs, let's sell them. Palmettos are just old melee weapons. I haven't got quite enough of anything cool to really equip anything new, which is a shame. Let's have a look at the skirmishers now. The old hunters. Yeah, I think we could probably get rid of all these sharps, actually. Let's let's cash those in. I, we don't need those. And then infantry weapons. Well, we're not going to use reboard farmers at this point. We're just not. Uh, we have a nice selection of all of these. Proper rifles. So I don't think we need the 17,000 Springfields smoothbores that we've got. I will sell off half of them. The reason I'm saying this is because it's possible that we might be able to recruit so many more brigades and fill up the 4th and 5th Corps. Uh, possible but unlikely, I would say. So, 1st Corps, let's switch over. In fact, the Yorkshires. You've earned these. Where are they? Where are they? My 1863 rifles. I mean, I'm assuming they're better. 12 and a half damage, the same. 400 range, which is the same. And then 55, 70, 59. Um, these fire faster, slightly more accurate. And the same at melee. So yeah, they're, they're an improvement. So the Yorkshires get those. And we can afford to do two more brigades. We can certainly do afford to do one more. I'll probably do one more because of the cost involved. Who shall it be? Who shall it be? The Ohio Outlaw sitting at the top. Go on then, I'm going to give them to you guys. For no particular reason. Actually, who really earned it in that last fight? None of you guys did. <laughs> if I'm honest. But... Oh, it's fine. Yeah, okay. We'll equip them. And then that leaves us... 
There's still 4,000 in the shop. I don't think I can afford another one, though. The Lancashire. Uh, we can go Clemens Brigade, actually. Actually, you, you guys are going to get... Can we afford them? I don't think we can afford them. I can afford them. Okay. Nice. Yeah, sure. Have some new rifles. Uh, and you're going to get the ones that we've just ditched. The 1861s. Because I now have 2,000 spare in there. Brilliant. So we're, we're pretty well equipped. Uh, third Corps is good. Let's have a look at the next battle map. Okay, we're back in Northern Virginia for this. We have, leading up to the Battle of Cold Harbor. Okay, that is, that would be a brutal full frontal assault. That's like a, another Fredericksburg where we're on the attacking side. Um, that's what it's leading up to. That's going to be tough. This is the Mule Shoe. This was part of the... Was it the Appomattox Courthouse battle, I think? That could also be very bad for us. It could be a big one. And we've got the Brock Road, which I think is part of the Wilderness. Yeah, it's part of the Wilderness. Okay, so uh, expect to see three very different fights here, actually. And uh, I don't fancy our chances in any of them. So, folks, I hope you've been enjoying this. I will try and get you some more of this stuff up before uh, I go on holiday or schedule it. And we'll definitely have some more of it when I'm back. And then we'll talk more about, uh, about my, uh, my Ukraine trip coming up. So, hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me your thoughts in the comments, as always. I really do appreciate them. And we'll catch you on the next one.